Dogs and humans digest food differently. That's why some foods are safe to eat for humans, but may be toxic and even potentially deadly for your canine. However, some human foods are actually good for your dog. In this video, I'll show you 10 safe human foods dogs can enjoy. From peanut butter, bread, oatmeal, and we'll even discuss bacon. Stay tuned to find out. Peanut Butter The hair-raising headline, Peanut Butter Can Kill Your Dog, has petrified dog owners all over the internet and social media. All dog owners know very well that dogs just love it. But does peanut butter really have the potential to end your pooch's life? To offer you some peace of mind, there is some good news. Regular peanut butter with no added salt and sugar is safe for Rover to have as a treat. It only becomes dangerous when the peanut butter contains xylitol which is a sugar substitute found in lower or sugar-free products. Dogs should never eat xylitol, which can also be found in candy, chewing gum, baked goods, and toothpaste. Consuming xylitol may cause a sudden drop in your dog's blood sugar levels. Symptoms like muscle weakness and seizures may occur. So next time your peanut butter loving dog begs for a spoonful of the sticky brown stuff, make sure to check that it doesn't contain xylitol. Bread. Now that you've established that the peanut butter in your cupboard is safe to feed Rover, you might have asked yourself if you can add some to a piece of bread like a sandwich. Well, the thing is that bread itself is good for your dog to eat, but adding extras on the bread like peanut butter will add more calories to your dog's diet. If excessive amounts of bread are consumed by your dog on a regular basis, it may gain extra weight. Plain white or whole grain bread is perfectly safe to give as a treat occasionally. However, bread containing extra ingredients such as raisins or certain types of nuts can be potentially harmful. Bread should not be used as a substitute to replace any essential foods in your dog's diet. It should only be given as a treat. Be mindful to have your dog exercise enough to work off those extra calories if he likes eating pieces of bread as a snack. Pineapple If you're a pineapple lover, you may have the desire to share this sweet and juicy fruit with your canine. And I'll tell you what, it's completely fine. Pineapple is not only safe for your dog to eat, it's actually quite healthy as well. It's a nutrient-dense snack filled with lots of vitamins, minerals, and fibers. The best way to feed this to your dog is to chop it up into small pieces and also use fresh pineapple. Your pooch will love having the juicy fruit to munch on. And like with any new food you introduce to your dog's diet, your canine might experience diarrhea or nausea when eating a lot of pineapple. Too much is never a good thing, so always give your dog small amounts of the fruit, even if he tries to persuade you with his puppy eyes for more. Watermelon If Rover is not a fan of pineapple, but you would really like to give him some fruit, watermelon is a great alternative. Just make sure to remove the seeds and don't let him eat the rind either, because they may be a choking hazard. Some people have even claimed that the rind causes an upset stomach in their dogs. On its own, watermelon is a very nutritional treat to feed your dog. It's a great source of vitamins such as vitamin A and vitamin C. Works very well to hydrate your dog as it has a high water content and it's also a low calorie food. Other fruits such as bananas, strawberries, and mangoes also make excellent snacks as they are high in fiber and are full of vitamins and minerals as well. Do your pooch a favor though and cut the fruit into small pieces for eating more easily. The next healthy treat on the list does not need to be cut up, but you might need a pan to prepare it. Popcorn Another human food that your dog may find delicious and can eat is popcorn. Well, the slightly healthier version at least. Popcorn that has added salt or any other added ingredients such as caramel or chocolate are not healthy for your dog to eat. Giving your dog air pop kernels is the best option. Also, make sure that the kernels are completely popped because unpopped kernels are a choking hazard. They may also get stuck in your dog's teeth. You don't want that. Apart from this, popcorn is a healthy treat because it contains minerals such as magnesium, phosphorus, and zinc, which are all important elements for keeping your dog healthy. So, for the next movie night, make sure to pop some extra popcorn for your pup. This way you'll have something for him to nibble on while you're watching your favorite movie together. Now, if you're looking for a more liquidy treat, the next entry might be just what your dog likes. Dairy Products Milk is bad for your dog. At least that's what I was told. 
Well, not necessarily. You can let your dog drink milk as long as it's given as a treat and your dog isn't lactose intolerant. A few tablespoons of cow's milk or goat milk, which is actually better, is all your dog should drink. Offering a big bowl of milk to your canine is a big no-no as it can cause a lot of health issues such as gas, diarrhea, vomiting, and a loose stool. You don't want that for Rover, do you? Although milk has lots of beneficial properties, it also has a high fat and sugar content, which will make your pooch pack on a few extra pounds if given too much of the stuff. If your dog loves dairy products, you can give him plain yogurt instead, which is much easier to digest than straight up milk. However, if given as a treat, your dog might not get all the probiotic benefits from the portion he eats. But don't feed him a bigger portion though. Instead, contact your vet for a probiotic supplement. As with most foods on the list, keep the portion small. Oatmeal A food that is nutritional for you, but also good for your dog is oatmeal. It is a great alternative for a dog who is allergic to wheat or grains. But don't go crazy with adding sugar or other extra ingredients you might enjoy in your breakfast porridge. Although foods like blueberries, blackberries, and honey are safe on their own, as an occasional snack for your dog, it's best not to add them. Just stick with plain oatmeal. The fiber-packed food is especially great for senior dogs with bowel issues. It contains vitamin B, which contributes to keeping a dog's coat in good shape. Linoleic acid, also found in oatmeal, is a type of omega-6 fatty acid that helps to maintain a dog's skin strong and healthy. Make sure to offer your pooch cooked oatmeal in small portions and don't take a shortcut with the instant kind because the added ingredients in it might be harmful for your dog. If your dog is allowed to eat grains, the next food is perfect. White rice. You may not have known, but some commercial dog foods contain rice. Some dog owners even add white rice to their dog's diet when it is sick. The reason white rice is chosen is because it's easy to digest, cooks quickly, and it's low in fibers. It is particularly the starch that helps bind the stool when your dog's stomach is upset. However, white rice has a much higher glycemic index than brown rice. This means that eating too much of white rice can cause blood sugar levels to rise. So, if you have a dog that is diabetic, it's okay to feed him a little white rice if needed. Feeding brown rice to your dog is okay, but not when it's sick. Just plain white rice with no added flavors or ingredients will do the trick. However, there's no harm in adding some extra pieces of chicken or turkey for some extra protein. Speaking of protein, next on the list, bacon. Pork. Can you really deny Rover a slice of bacon during breakfast? Isn't his drooling, adorable face not convincing enough? As much as many dog owners like to spoil their pets by giving them pieces of table food to nibble on, bacon is one that Rover unfortunately can't have, simply because bacon is not good for him. Other pork products like sausages and deli meats, and in fact, all processed pork meats are bad for your dog. These types of meat contain a significant amount of salt and added spices, which might upset your dog's stomach. However, pork meat is not completely off the doggy menu. If the meat is cooked with no added spices or salt, it's perfectly fine to give it to your dog. Pork is actually an excellent source of amino acids, perfect for dog nutrition. It's also rich in vitamin B1, an essential mineral used in cell function. Your dog, however, should never eat raw or undercooked pork meat because this can lead to a bacterial infection making your dog very sick. Coconut Coconut is not toxic for your dog. So, feeding it to your dog is not harmful. In fact, it can be beneficial to your dog's health. But before you start adding it to your pooch's diet, there are a few things to consider. The meat contains anti-inflammatory properties and lauric acid, which are great as an energy source, aiding in the recovery of all sorts of wounds. Coconut is also a great boost for your dog's immune system. And lastly, coconut can improve a healthy and shiny coat. Coconut oil comes from the meat and has the same beneficial properties it can also be consumed by your dog. Though negative reactions are rare, your dog should consume coconut with moderation as the flesh contains medium-chain triglycerides, which can cause bloating and diarrhea. Some breeds have trouble digesting the coconut and may get a stomach ache. Never give your dog the hard shell to chew on though, because this can cause blockage in its airways when swallowed. So, when introducing coconut to your dog, be aware of any allergic reactions your pooch may have. Add a few coconut chips to your dog's meal 
or dip treats in coconut oil for him to munch on. If he loves it, you'll have yourself a healthy and shiny coconutty dog. Which of these yummy healthy foods do you feed your dog? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for being here today and until next time,